Let's talk about functions. Let x and y be sets. A function f from x to y, denoted by f colon x arrow y, is a rule that assigns to each element x in the set x a unique element in y, which is denoted by f of x. The word "unique" here means that for each element x, there is only one corresponding value in y. There are a few terminology used for functions. First, if y equals f of x, we say that f sends or maps x to y, written as x arrow y, where there is a vertical line at the tail of the arrow. Y is called the value of f at x. Secondly, x is called the domain of f. It represents the set of values where f is defined. And y is called the range of f. It represents the set to which all values of f belong. Thirdly, the set of all possible values of f is called the image of f, denoted by f of capital X. Formally, f of capital X is the set of f of little x, such that little x lies in the set capital X, and this is clearly a subset of y. Note that the image of f. Is not equal to y in general. Let's look at some examples. First, we define f to be the function from the set one, two, and three to the set of integers by f of x equals two minus x squared. Then the image of f is the set one, negative two, and negative seven. This can be found by substituting x to be one, two, and three respectively. Secondly. We define the function f from the real numbers to itself by f of x equals the square of x plus one. The image of f is the set of real numbers x such that x is greater than or equal to zero. Thirdly, we define the function f from the Cartesian product of the natural numbers in itself to the set of rational numbers by f of a comma b equals a over b. The image of f. Is the set of rational numbers x such that x is positive? As the last example, for any set x, we can define a function called id from x to x by id of x equals x for all elements x in the set x. Id is called the identity function on x. Let x and y be finite sets with. The size of x equals m, and the size of y equals n. How many functions f from x to y are there? First, let's list the elements of x s, x one, x two, all the way to x m. A function f from x to y is defined in the following m steps. For step one, we have to choose the value of f at x one. In step two. We have to choose the value of f at x two. This goes on until step m, where we have to choose the value of f at x m. In each step, any of the n elements of y can be chosen, so there are n choices for each step. By the multiplication principle, the number of functions f from x to y equals n times n times n, and so on for m times. So the answer is n to the power m. Let f from x to y be a function. There are two ways to modify f. The first way is to restrict the domain of f. That is, if we have a subset of x, say a, then the restriction of f on a is the function denoted by f vertical line a, from a to y, such that. F restricted to A of A equals F of A for all elements A in the set A. So in essence, the restriction of F on A is the same function as F, except that we consider a smaller set of values on which it is defined. The second way is to restrict the range of F. That is, if we have a set B, which is a subset of Y. But necessarily containing the image of f, then we can define a new function g from x to b, such that g of x equals f of x 
for all elements x in the set X. Note that g and f are really the same function. It is just that we have chosen a different range for g, and we are free to choose any set to represent the range of g as long as it contains the image. Let's look at a couple of examples of modifying a function. Let f be a function from the real numbers to itself, defined by f of x equals x squared. Observe that the image of f is the set of real numbers x such that x is greater than or equal to zero. Let's denote that set by the real numbers with a subscript of greater than or equal to zero. If we restrict the domain of f to the set of non-zero real numbers, we have a function, say g, from the set of non-zero real numbers to the real numbers, defined by g of x equals x squared, and the image of g is the set of real numbers x such that x is positive. Notice that 0 is not in the image of g, but it is in the image of f. On the other hand, if we restrict the range of f to the set of non-negative real numbers, we have a function, say h, from the real numbers to the set of non-negative real numbers, defined by h of x equals x squared, and in this case, the image of h is the same as the image of f.